Hello everyone, welcome to Piano Val, Emily is here. Bumblebee! <laughs> and let me show you in this tutorial how Piano Val system helps your technique. And the only question that every student would be concerned about is the speed. So how to play fast with no hand fatigue and still make good quality sound. So, in my opinion, <laughs> this speed is achievable by three things. First is absence of stiffness and any uh, like unhealthy tension in your wrist and arms. Second is lightness of your touch, this leggero that is written in this score. And uh, third is distributing energy, uh, the weight, while playing. So, let's go to number one. Well, in piano system, we usually follow uh, with our wrist the pattern of the melody. So, that means that if any notes, like here, note higher, then the wrist will move to the right, note lower, the wrist will move to the left. So, uh, let me tell you guys that when I play it slow, I make like this wrist. And I'm from here. So, the wrist would repeat melody pattern. Now, if you noticed in my performance, you cannot see I'm making any movements. It's because all the movements, when you speed up, remains just in the muscles of your hand. Just over there. But that's enough, guys, to overcome stiffness in the wrist. Because if you play slow with no movement, let's say in a common way like this, like every one of us would play. Right? bars, even in slow tempo, you would already feel tension. So how on earth are you going to speed up? <laughs> and um, the same thing is about left hand, like everything, basically everything. So another thing that helps us to overcome any unhealthy tension in arms is elbow. So make sure that in every passages, elbow always prepare your new position. Like for example here. We have this um, ascending passage. I'm quite fancy today. <laughs> so we have this passage, right? And our wrist will go to the right. So the angle of the wrist is gonna be always like this because every note is higher than previous. So if we're not moving our elbow, then we might end up. Uh, doing something like this where our wrist is ahead of our elbow and so the tension will be uh, accum accumulated in this area because this is unhealthy angle of our arm so make sure that in any changes of position or passages your elbow always move your arm and so how do we achieve this we find um, the notes we will move elbow so for example here every first note of the set of four, like here I would move out, here, 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 and this. If I play without album, I can tell you guys by the end, because this is already the end of the piece, and my, my hand would be already like... So, <laughs> if I'm not releasing any tension, then I would get stiffness. So, what I would do here, I would move over here to the right, and then here to the left, and here again to the left. And this little right, left, right, this little movement would be enough to release this unnecessary tension in my hands. And of course, again, if you notice in my performance, when I played in the fast tempo, this elbow movement is 
just like this. It's just basically like one, one centimeter to the right, one centimeter to the left in the muscles. Every movement will be in the muscles, in the memories of my muscles. And of course also we have some leaps here which, which are okay when you play in slow tempo but when you play in fast tempo it's gonna be disaster if that's gonna distract you from your passages. So, um, for example here... If you notice in my performance Everything's so organic and natural when I play, but that's not just by chance, it's not just like, oh, she just has such a good technique. No, guys, everything is calculated. So, over here, so my wrist would always go to the right, and over here, first my elbow would move to the right, and over here, my elbow first to the left. So. preparing for the new position. So it's gonna look right, 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 left. And no problem. <laughs> um, yum, 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 what else? Yeah, well, basically that's it. So, from the piano roll system, wrist movement and elbow movement helps a lot to release any tension that might be accumulated in your arms while playing in the very, very, very fast tempos. So, the second thing uh, is about how to achieve lightness in your touch. And it's obvious that if you play too heavy, then it's much uh, harder to achieve speed in your playing. So, uh, the lightness of your touch must be achieved by your imagination. You cannot just say, okay, I'm gonna touch keyboard lighter. You will lose. You, you will still not be able to control the touch because it's not about lightness. It's also about the quality. It's the one that every note would basically sound in the pianissimo. So when you imagine every single note in the violins with movement that the same movement that we use in our wrist, with the same movement to make in our imagination, and we connect notes with glissando just like we do in piano system. So then we achieve. Uh, the control of playing every second note even in fast tempo, guys. I still don't know how to explain this, but it's basically as soon as you get it, the time is just a matter of how fast you play, but you're still able to imagine every single note somehow. And when, let's say, you imagine it in pianissimo, then you're gonna um, you're gonna feel in a very special way on your fingertip. This special way, this touch will give you the lightness of the sound. And so another thing is uh, phrasing that helps, like I said, it's kind of connected to the stage 3 of um, how to distribute energy while playing but it also helps to achieve the slightness of, of, of the touch uh, because we, if we play without phrasing we would play either uh, with constant inhale like, like this, like without weight like uh, always, keep, always keep the weight inside or like with constant uh, exhale, if we try to play with full of mouth away, then... And both are wrong because both will lead to the heaviness and stiffness. It's like, easy to imagine, it's like when you always inhale or you always exhale. So, uh, to be able to make those energetical, like, breathing, crescendos and diminuendos, we need phrasing, so we need to know where we're going. And uh, the beauty of this is that uh, when you exhale on the main part, whether it's the main interval in the motif 
with the main motif in the phrase or the main phrase in the sentence, then after this exhale, the next motif or interval of or phrase that goes less important, you play on inhale and it goes automatically. And this is where you get the lightness of your uh, touch. So you play with no effort. And let me just show you what I'm talking about. <laughs> Uh, so one motif here is one bar and the main interval is gonna lead through the bar line to the very first note. This is one motif, this is another motif. And we're coming to this ascending uh, second, to this descending second. And uh, this size of the motif remains absolutely the same during the whole piece. Do not change it. So when we uh, intonate, and for those of you who, who want to know how to intonate and how to make phrasing, uh, please click to this video. It will lead you to a short lesson that explains everything. <laughs> because uh, everything we do and Everything we feel, we can feel inhale, exhale only through singing. And uh, the way we connect notes with resistance and glissando, this is our channel to uh, control and transfer weight, the freedom of, my, of our body to the instrument. So when we're going to intonate and internally sing this motif, I'm sorry, this. intention to bring everything to the main interval, then naturally we're going to distribute energy like less and more, less more. and here we go, less, more, less, more. And this last part is like our little inhale, uh, we just let go our fingers and they just move by themselves. And the same thing is happening on a bigger scale when we look at the piece from the perspective of the phrase. And let's find it first. Uh, the phrase would have two bars and uh, many intervals would vary actually. So um, let me guide you and tell you through the whole piece how I made it. So the first motif less. answer my question and I will say my head gets teeth what should I do and she'll be like well just find some places where you can relax your head uh, and she'll just like go to the piano and play for half an hour and me just watching you watching her just like okay <laughs> but still how should I do this because I cannot relax my hands so those less important motives when you like exhale a little bit this is the part where you naturally relax your hands and those waves will give you this natural breath of music. So here is where I relax my hands. This is a more, more, this is again relax. This is more, this is relax. So my muscles would literally breathe. And we know when where is a breath, there is no death, <laughs> and there is no death, there is no stiffness. So when we breathe, we relax. So our muscles always would remain health attention. I think I'm talking too much, okay. So, um, 
This is less. changing is here. I made the first motif more and second less. First more, second less. Now first less. No, no, no. Yes. First less. First more. second motif more important. Now over here I make first more important. So I intonate ta 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 second motif more important except those like uh, special places where I just emphasize first motif because it's obvious he would uh, show it with little hairpins and make some uh, accent to the to the main interval of the main motif so. and uh, so the last step is would be to find the sentence which is obvious four bars that would consist two phrases so this is would be this is our sentence. And um, well in this sentence it's up to you uh, which phrase to choose. But I think uh, I'm actually not sure about the very first two lines. I always do differently, I cannot imagine. Okay, let's say that the first phrase would be more important. So this one, more, and this one less. This one more, this one less. And then let's keep the same pattern. So first phrase more important. Phrase, we still keep the same pattern, we would still feel which motif is more important, and in every motif we would still feel which interval is more important. So when we start breathing in a larger scale, uh, looking at the piece from a bigger perspective, then uh, it tremendously helps our technique, because now we basically and another two bars, which are less important, just again goes go automatically with completely relaxed hands but our fingers would just move effortlessly so two bars you basically play with more effort two bars with less effort two bars with more effort two bars with less effort <laughs> um, so I don't know if I should guide you guys but um, that would be it so Every two bars. I think I um, actually change pattern a little bit over here, where I unite three phrases in one sentence. So this one, one, second, and third. And everything I would bring to the third phrase is going to be a less. And then again, also three, the three phrases uh, where the first more important, second less, and the third the least. So, second less, third the least. And then again, uh, also three. <laughs> Phrases pattern in the sentences. 
And uh, another thing is that when we understand where we are in the sense of musical form, it also helps to distribute energy because, as we know from the system, uh, if we talk about form, there is beginning of the story, development, rising to climax, climax, conclusion. So every of this form, if you can feel it emotionally, you can also understand that they are different by the um, by how much intensive we feel energy in it. So beginning is not like it's okay, it's simple, right? And for example, rising to climax, we would feel like more complicated, like we would like energetical Christian, I don't know how to explain, the climax went super intensive, right? So it helps also to distribute energy on a, on a completely huge scale from big perspective. And um, again, it simply helps us to, to, to achieve speed in our hands and not get fatigued. Because if we bring right away everything to the beginning, then uh, there is no space, there is no room for development uh, of music. And uh, the form, oh, this is how I distribute form in this piece. The first two lines is just like introduction. Now this part, uh, next two lines, okay, let's go like this. First two lines is introduction. Second two lines, beginning. Now from here, This one, um, well, you can do as rising to climax, and this part, climax, just because, you know, you come to the piano, to the, to the forte, and it's very intensive, with crescendo, with some um, melody patterns, um, so it's all combination part. This one, I go like a little, you know, transformation, like a bridge between parts. Well, you can say little conclusion, but this is like a little bridge that leads to another part that also will have a beginning, development, uh, rising to climax. the climax by the dynamics <laughs> and it's more advanced and it's going higher so this is all climax and from here little conclusion <laughs> so if you see if you start playing here if you start playing this piece and you can see like okay so um, these are you know like a satellite far away from the earth <laughs> and you can see all the streets so uh, and you can see like okay there are gonna be two parts and uh, it's gonna be like beginning rising climate climax in one part and the same pattern in the next part and then you start playing and the way you intonate your intentions will be um, conveyed through your intonations through our singing as we know and uh, this is how we would control the energy while playing and the last but not least is, guys, uh, it's going to be a, a simple advice, but it's really, really crucial. Please feel pulsation while playing. So I will say it uh, by half of the bar. So I would... Oh no, how will I would do? Yeah, I would pulsate it by half of the bar. And again, we need to give the time some emotional meaning, not just fast, but we need to connect it so it would be quite lively and energetic heartbeat of the music. So, and you're gonna keep this beat through whole, through the whole piece while playing, uh, like we do in my system, and that also helps your technique somehow. It always gives you this pulse, 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 go, 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 go. <laughs> <laughs> um, somehow it helps to release any tension and hands as well. Okay, so that was um, not very detailed, but mostly like a demonstration, explanation 
how PNML system, how some principles of PNML system helps to speed up on this piece. And thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video. Bye bye!